Okay, for first bird today, we've got the Indy Polaris XC850 Matrix. So this is the new buggy. Uh, pretty good snowmobile, haven't been on it too much, maybe about three or four kilometers. So literally, this is the first time I'm really gonna get on it. Uh, of course, it's not a completely new chassis, but a complete rethink of the current axis chassis, that, which makes it a Matrix. Uh, as you can see, new bodywork. Uh, this one's got the Walker Evans Racing shock package all around, but not the Velocity ones. Um, what the, the big thing on this one is the narrowness of the chassis. When you're on it, it's quite a bit narrower kind of in through the middle here. So that's supposed to give you a lot more room to move around on the sled. And in addition, the bodywork, all of this has been thought out to kind of direct and create an envelope of dead air behind it, a little pocket here. So it's a much warmer sled to ride and uh, it's kind of hard to tell today because it's, it's not super cold out, but uh, so far you don't really feel a whole lot of buffeting going around in behind you. So uh, also new uh, older gauge on this particular model, but new handlebar, uh, gauge controls, kind of everything's been uh, kind of adjusted on this thing and thought through to, uh, to be optimized. Also in here, it's got a pretty good storage with somebody else's hat in it already. So anyways, that's nice, uh, yeah. And uh, let's go. So, looks like we got clear trail. This one's the 850, so it is pretty, uh, pretty spicy. It's also a little, uh, a little slippery out here today. <laughs> so this one is supposed to be a very precise flat cornering, great acceleration. Um, an ultimate kind of trail machine. That's really what Polaris has positioned this thing as, or had talked to us yesterday, that this was uh, taking all the goodness of the Axis chassis and just kind of turning it all up to 11. So, so far, again, there's just a, a little more right on this slide. Uh, it, it does feel very polaris -y. I mean, this thing gets going just as you'd expect an 850 to get going. But uh, the seating position, although it does feel very much like an Axis, uh, it lets you move around a lot. Like you can get to the inside, you can hang off nicely, get really nice down and low on it. And uh, it's a little hard to see. Let me just stop here for a sec. There is a redesigned footwell on it. So in here, all this has got a new cast piece that comes around and you can get your foot in here and really kind of hook it in there. It's actually pretty nice. It's still a little tall from the seat to, uh, to your, your, the bottom of the foot, uh, foot rest. So the, the distance from the back of your knee to your heel, uh, that's a little sensitive there. I'm pretty short in that department. So uh, it'd be nice to have a little bit more cut down seat, but. This seat is definitely a lot narrower to get you around. Get back up. All right, and yeah, so you get your foot in there and you can really hook it in. Very similar to other brands that are out there. All right, here we go. So, it's a little hard to tell what this thing's gonna be like on big bump compliance type trails where it's all whooped out, but uh, I can definitely feel that this thing's gonna work pretty good. There's the boys. See where they wanna go. 